Slovakia's decision to purchase six batteries of the Israeli Barak MX surface-to-air missile, SAM, system marks a significant step in modernizing its air defense capabilities. The deal, valued at approximately 554 million euros, underscores Slovakia's commitment to enhancing its ability to defend its airspace against a broad spectrum of aerial threats. The intergovernmental agreement between Slovakia and Israel is anticipated to be finalized by the end of October 2024, with the first deliveries of the Barak MX systems slated to begin by the end of 2025. Developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI, the Barak MX system is a sophisticated integrated air and missile defense solution. It is renowned for its flexibility, multi-layered capabilities, and ability to counter a wide range of threats, including drones, aircraft, and tactical ballistic missiles. The system's modular and open architecture allows it to integrate seamlessly with various sensors and battle management systems, enabling effective coordination between different elements of ground and naval air defenses. Key components of the Barak MX system include three types of interceptors, each designed to cover different ranges and threat types. The Barak ER, extended range, interceptor can engage targets at distances up to 150 kilometers, thanks to its dual-pulse rocket motor and booster. The Barak LR, long range, and Barak MR, medium range, interceptors cover distances of 70 and 35 kilometers, respectively. These interceptors are equipped with active RF seekers and powerful motors, ensuring high maneuverability and precision in intercepting and neutralizing targets. The Barak MX's advanced capabilities and adaptability have made it a preferred choice for many armed forces worldwide, including those participating in the European Sky Shield Initiative. Its software-based architecture allows for updates to enhance performance, ensuring the system remains effective against evolving threats. Slovakia's plan to domestically produce some of the missiles further integrates the Barak MX system into the country's defense infrastructure, strengthening national security and promoting local industry involvement. Slovak Defense Minister Robert Kalinak has highlighted the urgency of this acquisition, citing the obsolescence of Slovakia's current air defense systems, such as the 2K-12 KUB missile system, which has been in service since the late 1970s and early 1980s. The Barak MX system will provide Slovakia with a modern, multi-layered defense capability to protect both strategic and civilian targets from various aerial threats, including ballistic missiles. In addition to acquiring the missile systems, the deal includes a comprehensive support package, which encompasses personnel training, technical documentation, simulators, specialized tools, spare parts, and a two-year warranty. This holistic approach ensures that the Slovak armed forces can fully integrate and operate the new system effectively. The defense relationship between Slovakia and Israel extends beyond the Barak MX acquisition. Slovakia has also purchased Israeli radar systems developed by Elta Systems, a subsidiary of IAI, to enhance its air surveillance and early threat detection capabilities. Moreover, Slovakia has integrated Israeli tactical drones into its military operations, further boosting its reconnaissance and surveillance capacities. This strategic partnership in defense is reflected in technology exchanges, co-development projects, and joint training programs aimed at improving the operational efficiency of the Slovak Armed Forces. Additionally, Slovakia has embarked on a joint procurement initiative with the Czech Republic to acquire over 1,300 military transport vehicles, scheduled for delivery between 2025 and 2031. This initiative is part of a broader effort to replace aging equipment and maintain the operational readiness of Slovakia's military. Overall, these initiatives demonstrate Slovakia's commitment to modernizing its defense infrastructure and strengthening its strategic partnerships, particularly with Israel, to enhance national and regional security.